Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how you can create a blog with Builderall. If you are not familiar with Builderall, it's a digital marketing platform packed with lots of useful tools like a website builder, email marketing, booking builder, chatbot, e-learning functionalities, sales funnels, you can create e-commerce website and so on. If you don't have a Builderall account but want to try it, check the link in the description of this video. You can try it for 14 days free of charge. In this video, we will look at how we can add a blog to our website. So log into your Builderall dashboard and go to your site. If you have created a site before, you will see it in your latest projects. Then you can just click access and you will be navigated to your website. If it's a brand new account, then you need to go to either start a project and click on create a website or the tools menu and click the builder or website builder. In this video, I'm just going to create a brand new website. So I will click enter. I have my previous websites listed here. If you want to create a new website, click the create new site button. I will select professional templates and here you can select from a bunch of pre-designed templates doesn't matter which one, I will just select this, click save, and our website has been created. Let's change the title of the website. Click save. We can preview the site. Okay, this looks, looks okay, but the content doesn't really matter for us now. Let's go back. And if you want to add a blog to the website, you need to go to blog and you need to create a new blog. Then that blog has to be assigned to your website. So let's click new blog. Let's add a name. Here we can upload a thumbnail if we want. I'm not going to upload a thumbnail for now. Just click save and our blog has been created. Here we have some options. We can check the blog overview which takes us to the blog dashboard. We can mark this as favorite, we can update its settings or we can delete it. Let's go and edit the blog. So we are right back at the blog dashboard. You can see this is our air conditioning blog. Before we go over quickly these settings, let's go to connect. And here we can see our website that we can connect this blog to. Okay, so this is my air conditioning blog. So I want to connect it to my air conditioning website. So let's click connect, select the template. If you select a blank one, then you will need to build it out with the website builder. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to select the template and click select. And the blog has been connected to the website. Okay, let's go to categories. So right now, this blog has no categories. Let's create a new one. We just need to add a name. Do it yourself. So here we can see the name. Let's uh, change this to all uppercase. We can leave the slug like this. The slug is basically the URL part of the blog category. Click update. So this way you can create as many categories as you want. Then you will place your blog posts into one or more of these categories. Let's go to authors. We don't have any authors. Let's add a new author. Name, Bill. We can add a biography and we can also add some social media links. And we can also upload an image for this author, I'm not going to upload any image now. I'll just click save and the author has been created. We don't need to create post templates right now. So if you want to display your posts in a different style, then you need to create a post template. I'm not going to create this right now. Let's go to posts. And this is where you create your blog posts. Let's add the title. Let's update a thumbnail. Let's select a category. Let's select an author. Okay, we want to post this 
blog post immediately. By default, the URL of the post is generated based on the title, and I am happy with this, but if you want to change, the, change it, then you can do that here. And if you have a template, you can select the template here, but we don't have any. Okay, let's just uh, add some dummy text. So you can use these formatting options on your text. You can uh, make it bold. You can uh, you can add a link. You can uh, you can add headings. You can change the color, the font size, etc. And if you are ready, click save, and you can go to the post list or stay on this page. And now our post has been created and it's listed here. So every time. If you want to create a new blog post, you just have to come back here and create your post here. You can edit your blog settings. This is a, a kind of a general settings. The options here are pretty straightforward and you also have some SEO settings for your main blog page. So here you can uh, enable this option and let people to register on your blog. And if they register on your blog, then uh, they can subscribe to, to your posts. And uh, when you have a new blog post, they will receive a notification. Okay, here you can manage your comments. So people can comment on your blog posts. Here you can enable comments and you can set it to be approved automatically. The import blog option is not really important right now. You can import other blogs into your current one. We have already checked the connect options. So this is this is uh, important. This is where you connect your blog to your website. And here we can go back to our home. Let's go back to our website builder. And if I refresh the page, you can see that uh, two new pages have been added and they have this blog badge in the top left corner. These are special pages that will handle our blog, our main blog page where all our blog posts are listed, and also another one where our individual blog posts will be displayed. So let's, uh, let's just uh, click republish to make sure that our website is saved. And if we go to this page, and click on the go to website page. Now we can see that our first blog post is displayed here. Let's go back to the pages and you can see that the name or the title of this page is called feed. If you want to change that, let's go to settings and here you can change this to blog, articles or whatever you want to want to name it. Also don't forget to change the address URL. I'm not going to change this for now so I'm just going back and uh, and uh, let's just uh, check the individual post. So I will click here and this is how my blog post looks like right now. Of course if you don't select a template at the beginning, remember when I created the blog itself, I selected a pre-made template. If you select blank, then you can use the page builder to build out this page any way you want. So you don't have to stick to this design. You can create any kind of design. So it's basically, it's just up to your creativity how you design this page. You can uh, add different backgrounds, you can add sidebar, so you can make this look much, much better. Okay, so basically this is how you can uh, create your blog and this is how you connect your blog to your website. If you have any questions, just please leave a link below the video and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much. Have a nice day.